Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 107 and today we want to get started with the scroll down function. So before I proceed into the code, I'm assuming that you're having a jQuery file with you into your project and you have also added the reference of that into your head section of your HTML document. Next you might have written some JavaScript code in order to execute our jQuery instructions. Alright, so now let me run this thing pretty quick to see what we have when we are dealing with scroll top. So this is the basic markup I have. I have four paragraphs. The first one and the last one is quite interesting. The first one is going to show the result and it is entitled with class red. So red means a border of five pixel and the color is red. So that's pretty simple. Nothing new in that. Right. This one is a bit interesting because it has class green on it. So what does the green class mean? This is a green class. It has some sort of a content and this is a green class. One more thing to notice, the green class has the vertical scroll bar. So how do I get a vertical scroll bar? In order to get the vertical scroll bar, you need to write some CSS and the CSS, this one you understand pretty easy. You need to set a height and width in order to restrict them. So we have done that. And at last, you need to specify a magic property called as overflow is equal to scroll or auto. That will give them a vertical scroll bar, which you can see right here. <clears throat> Next, I have two buttons to get the top of the scroll bar. So if I move my scroll right here, and if I choose the get the top value, I'm getting my top value as 526. If I want to set my top value as something, so now you can see the top is right here. If I click the set top, you see it has moved a bit up and it's, it tells me the set is complete. Now it's time for you to run the get button. So I'm going to click on get and see the value is 400. So what we did is we actually was able to get the top position of the scroll bar and we were also able to set the top position I'm sorry the top position of a scroll bar in this paragraph right so now let's look at the jQuery how can we do that so basically both the things are happening on the button so this is a get button and one is the set button so on get button what I'm saying is hey jQuery this is my click event the buttons click event whenever this is click I want you to find the last paragraph which is right here and I want you to get its scroll top position so whatever value you get you store it in a variable called as val and once the value is captured I want to find the next paragraph who has the class red which is right here and right here okay so once you find that I want to update its text using a text function as the value of this method so basically we are storing the scroll top into the paragraph who has the class red. So this is pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, next we are going to set. The set works the same way. What we are doing over here is when you click the submit button of set, we are setting the value of last paragraph and using the same scroll top function but passing a numeric value as 400. And now once it is done, uh, you have seen it gives you an alert and then we run this thing again. I mean click this get button in order to get the value. So this is pretty easy and pretty simple, right? Now the fun part over here is I am going to set the value as 700 here so it is going to set my scroll bar to 700 so let's uh, let me do the refresh first okay and now I'm going to set this thing so you can see the scroll bar moves out moves down pretty fast all right the set is complete now I'm going to do the get the moment I do get instead of 700 I'm getting 637 now the question is why and that you are going to answer me as a homework so once again thank you for your time on this and thank you for listening to me up next we're going to start with the val function under the general attributes see you there